This is the sanctuary Notre Dame of the very famous city of Lourdes in the Pyrenees. Lourdes has been a place of hope and prayer for the very sick for over 150 years. Seven million pilgrims visit the rural town every year. Les Halles, the classic large covered market, has all the regional food specialties. L'Instant Fromage displays a great range of local mountain cheeses. It is unique in France for the Pyrenees to make cheeses with cows, goat and sheep milk. The farmhouse used milk fromage from the local valley d'Ossan is one of the best. The Greuil Fromage Blanc is a fresh, natural and delicate used milk cheese used in light desserts. Oh. It is so delicious. At the takeaway rotisserie stand, the plump cooked free ranch chicken are going fast. And I am surprised at the popularity of the hearty stew of duck heart, chicken liver, and sauteed potato dish. This is real French rural cuisine. The Pyrenees charcuterie are amongst the finest in France. To differentiate themselves from supermarket offerings, skillful artisans, small good makers, like the Bouquet family, create new charcuterie to keep their clients. This sixth generation charcutier has created a terrine with black pudding and chestnuts, and I'm told it's very delicious. The house-made ham and the salamis are attractive and almost a family staple food, popular during long and cold winter months. At the Bistro des Halles, at the edge of the market, I choose to taste the regional charcuterie plate it comes with Pyrenee ham, a large salami called rosette, some chitterling sausage, some terrine, and some dry sausage with cornichon, butter, and baguette. These charcuteries are really delicious, and I think it's probably the fresh air of the mountain that gives that special flavor. A glass of the local dry white wine of Jurançon, made with gros mansang grapes, is a delightful marriage. This fruity dessert made with peaches and apricots stewed in the local sweet wine of Jurançon is out of this world. I first have four apricots and quarter four peaches and remove the stones. I then place half a cup of orange juice, half a cup of sugar and 150 milliliters of sweet Jurançon wine in a pan. I add the fruit, bring the mix to a simmer, and poach the peaches and apricot until soft. The ripe peaches, the apricot, the wine from Jean Son, all together, it is so luscious. I mix 100 grams of sweetened chestnut cream and 200 milliliters of whipped cream and transfer it to a piping bag. I carefully spoon the cold fruit into attractive glasses. I pop some chestnut cream florets on top. Just before serving, I sprinkle the dessert with a few toasted almonds and dust it with icing sugar. This verin de peche et abricot au vin de Jurançon is a perfect summer dessert. Tomorrow I visit the Principality of Andorra to discover the gourmet specialties. <laughs>